Hey everybody, it is Emily. It's week 55, and this week our topic is uh, tea specifics. So we wanted to give you a rundown of um, basically our partner's journey to testosterone injections, if that's what they're doing. Um, basically, uh, August 18th of this year will be Chance's one-year anniversary. Anniversary, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we haven't gotten there yet, so I don't know if or how we're going to celebrate it. Um, that's a bridge I'll have to trek across when I get to it. Any hoosies. Um, so, originally, um, so a quick breakdown. Chance is 24 years old currently. He uh, came out as trans to himself when he was 13. Came out to his family when he was 14. Uh, used e-blockers and uh, tea boosters and supplements and all that natural stuff that you can find at uh, GNC, the vitamin shop, that kind of thing. Uh, he used all that stuff uh, for about eight years to do natural transition. And uh, all I've heard is, yeah, it works, but you don't see the results that you want as quickly, um, not as much, and it's really expensive. So if you have the spare funds and you need to go slowly and be a little bit more stealth, the natural might be the way to go. Um, I can definitely get people a list of the specific kinds that he used. I don't have those right now. Um, but if anybody's interested, I can get you those. Send us a message on here or comment down there. Um, so when he first started tea last year, he um he ordered it offline from a foreign country and it wasn't my favorite idea clearly but uh you gotta do what you gotta do i guess and um so he was doing that um he was doing 0.3 cc's because of uh the milligram age milligram amount uh whatever that the uh substance was so he originally bought um, bigger syringes. They were thicker syringes, and um, I want to say they were like five cc's total. So in order to draw 0.3, it was really hard to be precise. Like you had to like get right up in there on the needle and slowly pull down. It wasn't working as well. So, um, a few months into him, um, ordering his testosterone online, he actually got an appointment with, uh, if you're in the Philadelphia area and you don't know about the Mazzoni Center, know about the Mazzoni Center because they're an incredible resource. They, uh, they work on a sliding scale with insurance, so if you don't have a job, if you're completely unemployed, um... It's free, pretty much. Uh, they have an agreement with the Walgreens that's attached to them. And so you get um, all your hormones much, much uh, cheaper than it would be normally. So he went to the Mazzoni Center, talked to the doctor. Um, he was so awesome, Dr. Max. He was pretty cool. Um, got a chance set up. And, sorry, let me pull out the vial here. Um, he is on Depo Testosterone. It's uh, 200 milligrams. So, originally, Chance was doing IM, intramuscular, which is a longer needle. And it goes into your muscle. And uh, the doctor suggested he do subcutaneous which is into your into your fat like into the layer of fat and the idea is that it hurts less but that wasn't chance's um experience i guess with it he he did not like the way it felt it was more difficult for me to do it because it's a shorter needle and when you're doing i am you know you can stick the needle in push the plunger and be good um, with sub Q, you kind of have to hold it steady as you push in, and it's much more difficult to not wiggle the needle. If you ever had a needle wiggled inside your flesh, 
it sucks. So I don't suggest that. Um, so if you have a more steady hand, if you like sub Q, more power. But um, it wasn't for chance. I think he did it uh, for about a month or so. The doctor gave him a bunch of sub Q needles to try, you know, to, to try out. And he just wasn't for him. So we switched back to I am. And now, um, so this, I can take it out of here. So this is the Depo testosterone that he's on. Da, 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 da. Cute little vial. This is fresh. We haven't even broken this one yet. And um, so what he does is alcohol pads. Um, you have to uh, sterilize your vial and your leg, wherever you're going to do it. Um, with intramuscular, he does it in his thigh. Um, he alternates thighs. You can do it in uh, your butt. I know some guys don't like that because it's hard for them to reach themselves. It's uncomfortable. He does it in his thigh. He's never had a problem. Um, so intramuscular is good there. Uh, for sub Q, it's pretty much anywhere where you can like grab a little, like I have a lot of those spots where you can like grab pinches of your skin. Um, so, you know, back of your arm, um, love handle, tummy. He did it in his stomach and it just, he didn't like it at all. It was uncomfortable. Um, it bled a lot more, interestingly enough, and I don't know why that was exactly. But um, anyway, we're on I am. So what he does is sterilizes the um, the vial, sterilizes his skin, um, and then we take this. We use Teramo is the brand syringe, and it's one cc, one cc. See, it's kind of I don't know if you can see it's small. It's thin, um, and then he. What he does is uh, he draws with this 23 gauge needle, 23 gauge needle, one inch long. So it's all the way in to the muscle. Sorry, I'm going through his little baggie here. And um, one fun fact, uh, usually, you draw from the vial with one needle, cap it, and put on a different needle. Because uh, every time you put it in, you know, you stab through the rubber to get to the vial, you're dulling it, and it's more likely that you're going to injure yourself, that you're going to bleed, and that you could possibly hit a, a vein or something like that. So we always switch. That's why we usually use two needles. Uh, in a time. Um, and then he actually just got this new skin liquid bandage. This is new stuff he just got. Otherwise, plain old band-aids work just fine. Um, what we do have is kind of cute. It's this little baggie with the zipper. It's made for diabetics and stuff like that, but it's really good. He keeps it stocked with um, a couple needles, a couple syringes. Um, it actually had its own, you know, carry along transportable sharps container, but uh, he doesn't use that anymore because it broke, sadly. Um, but we do have a sharps container. This is a sharps container. Um, open up like that. Put the needles in there. Um, he's almost a year on tea and we never replaced it or emptied it, so it's still pretty full. Um, so, I think that's all I wanted to talk about as far as the shot itself. Um, originally, he started his shots, um, Saturday was his shot day. And then we realized it wasn't the best day. Because he works Saturdays now. And uh, before we would, um, I would work Friday nights and then I would sleep in Saturday. 
and now he goes to work on Saturday, so it's just not a good day. And uh, in case he had to be away for drill, that kind of thing, he didn't want to have to do it himself. Uh, so now um, he slowly moved it forward, and now Thursdays are his shot days. And, um, I mean, I did it for him the first, uh, first quite a few months. I still do it once in a while now for him, but mostly does it himself. Uh, I work Thursdays usually, and I'm up and out of the house before he is. It's, even if he's working, I'm usually up and out of the house before him, so he will take care of that uh, himself. But uh, it was it was nice to help out in the beginning, that's for sure. Um, so that is our tea specifics. Uh, again, it's called Depo Testosterone, what he's on. I think it's pretty standard. It's 200 milligrams. He does 0.5 cc's now instead of 0.3 because the milligram ness milligramage is uh is better now that he's getting it from a physician and not from Bosnia or something wherever he got it from before uh that is it for our tea specifics and um all right uh, until next week bye